Hey, and welcome back to a brand new episode of 101 Second Reviews, and today we're going to be talking about this. Yep, a, a sequel 15 years almost in the making, Incredibles 2 by Pixar, and this kicks off within seconds of where the original Incredibles finished. And in this, it's pretty much the same, supers aren't allowed to be supers again, and then a company comes along, a brother and sister, who want to change the PR for supers. They want people to believe again, and by showing them what superheroes actually do, they think they can change the whole public perception. But of course, there are other things going on behind the scenes. Bad things with a bad person. You know what I'm saying. Okay, review in a second. Okay, so The Incredibles 2, Pixar's new movie for this year, of course, the sequel to The Incredibles, which was 14 years ago. And it kicks off, like I said, straight away from the second the last one finished. And that actually works in its favour because it's like you being picked up. If you saw this film 14 years ago and you loved it, it's like they just pick you up, Pixar pick you up and just throw you into like this comfy, warm bed that you've been aching for for so long. No doubt that works. You've got the same voices, the same style, the same humour in it. Although the humour might be a bit of a problem in a way because in that time since that came out, You've had things like Deadpool and Guardians of the Galaxy, which use that kind of like, that style of humour that's in The Incredibles, you know, the kind of like the knowing superhero style. And they've made a massive success of that. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays, where the audiences will just now go like, oh, it's like Guardians, even though it's actually like The Incredibles. It'll be interesting to see how that works. Highlights of the film are when Bob or Mr. Incredible has to stay home to be a house father. That, of course, why? Because it's got like levels, different levels of drama and humour in it. That So the, the adults will be getting this level and the kids will be getting this level and that's just like Pixar at its best. On the downside, the story is extremely basic this time around. You'll, if, you're, if, you're, you know, if you've seen the first one and you've watched a lot of movies, you'll work it out pretty quickly. And the, the bad character is also quite easy to work out and it's, there's, there's no layers to the bad character at all, especially compared to Syndrome from the first one. That's actually quite poor in it. But the one thing they do absolutely get right without any question, and that's the development of the Jack-Jack character. They started in the first one, they really pushed on with it in this one with every intention of Incredibles 3. Okay, there you go. Um, thank you very much for watching, as always. Uh, click subscribe if you can, somewhere along here. Share the video, give it a like if you can. And I'll be back soon with another review. Thank you.